Hello, everyone, and welcome to Horizon Talks 3. This is Lead Director Pants here to introduce you to the latest reports on the development progress of Toontown Event Horizon. For those new to the project or in need of a quick recap, Toontown Event Horizon is a fan-made MMORPG that depicts the events of Toontown Online after its closure on September 19th, 2013. Since the formation of the project in February this year, we've revealed several upcoming features for the game, outlined in a roadmap graphic displaying our development goals for 2022. These include our two exclusive gag tracks, Atomic and Bonk, as well as the inclusion of tougher enemies such as Overcogs and Specialists. In the description, we've included a table of contents to show the video's topics, as well as help with skipping ahead once the premiere is finished. The 2022 roadmap will be fully revealed, as anticipated. We'll also be discussing ease of access within the game, as well as our sights for a major graphical overhaul of Toontown itself before the start of public testing. We've long waited for this day, so let's cut to the chase. Ready? Draw! Toontown Event Horizon's battle system contains nine gag tracks. The original seven that we all know and love, Atomic with its explosive chaos, and Bonk with its head-on slapstick. As a team, you and your friends can create powerful combos using different gags to attack together or fulfill an important role in support. However, as an individual, Toontown has always kept one restriction in its battle system. And that is the fact that you can only do one thing at a time. In Toontown Online, this would mean you can only commit to one gag, one doodle trick, one SOS card, or one pink slip per turn. And today, we reveal our defining game changer. One that makes breaking this limitation more familiar than the back of your hand. We now present to you, the hollow hand. This is the defining feature of Toontown Event Horizon's battle system. The Hollow Hand is a state-of-the-art device available to all Toons who engage in battle. This little piece of palm hardware puts a new form of battle abilities known as Hollow Cards right at your fingertips. Constructed of pure light and silly science, the Hollow Card manifests into powerful attacks, versatile abilities, and other tide-turning effects all in the blink of an eye. During gag selection, click a Hollow Card to play it. Some cards, such as Gag Lifts, are played instantly. Other cards, such as Bash, are played on a target such as a Cog or another tune. Some of the first Hollow cards we've tested in-game include the following. Bash, a card that instantly hits a Cog with ethereal damage, similar to Atomic. Gag Lift, cards that boost one of your Gag Tracks with a flat power increase. And Restock Scan, a card that restocks the Gag Track you're about to play. However, it is no exaggeration when we say the potential for holo cards is virtually endless. There's stronger gags, splitting gags, charging tune-up unites, charging other unites, doing damage, blocking damage, blocking your friend's damage, and I am just getting started. The list of ideas can only continue growing, and we're implementing more even right now. As more cards come along, we'll also be showing them off periodically on our social media, including our Twitter and YouTube. As we unveil the depths of Hollow Hand's rarity system, deck types, and other mechanics in the future, we are determined to make this gizmo a true game changer. One that enriches Event Horizon's gameplay experience the whole way through. So if you want to take your cog busting level light years further, put your hands up and draw. We'd like to show off some of our new gags in both new and old gag tracks, as well as explain a couple of new mechanics and rebalances. Tune-Up can now target cogs, providing a small self-heal based on the gag. Hitting a cog with a tune-up will also confuse them, applying stacks of prank, which turn into extra damage the next time they are attacked. I'll say that's a pretty good way to turn heal. Trap remains a strong, perfect accuracy setup gag that can be triggered either by lure or stagger expiration from bonk. Sick moves, bro. Lore's knockback bonus has been decreased to 30% extra damage, down from 50%. At base, single target Lore lasts for an extra turn compared to their group target counterpart. Sound has been reworked into a group attack with high combo potential, but less front-loaded destruction power. It deals significantly less base damage than before, and no longer grants combo bonus. However, 
sound's damage number now applies an environment effect called Resonance, which hits all cogs for a small amount of damage whenever a different gag hits them. Bonk is a new damage gag that applies Stagger, a damage reduction debuff with the ability to trigger traps when it expires. And uh… Smackerel? Throw is still an iconic, good old fashioned damage gag. It also deals 10% more knockback damage with lore. Hmm. Did I hear something about delicious pancakes? Squirt has been given the ability to cleanse a buff from a cog when it's used as an attack. Squirt can now also target tunes, giving them a small heal, as well as cleansing some of their debuffs. For Atomic, we've taken a lot of steps to simplify the track so that anyone can shine in a pinch. Once a cog has any atoms, send them off with a bang with Atomic Blast. Drop remains the low accuracy powerhouse it always has been. Though it still misses on Lord Cogs, Drop can hit Staggered Cogs. Anchors away. Finally, that was a good 5-6 minutes or so talking about holo cards, advanced builds, crazy gag mechanics, etc. We understand that many can be easily scared off by the game being too hard, too complicated, too fast. We can reassure you that our next steps in game design will focus on ease of access and better readability. Because ultimately the game is still Toontown. Not everyone's inner kid wants to crunch out math problems and chessboards to play their favorite computer game. On the higher level, we're focusing on quality of life updates and user experience improvements in order to have players feel more in control of their tunes' abilities. In general, we're doing away with overly complex mechanics such as Horizon Talks 1's iteration of Atomic in favor of more contained systems that reduce all the numbers and variables a player needs to keep track of. We're aiming for that right balance of mayhem to flow state. There's a lot of chaos that can happen in every encounter, but the player shouldn't be overwhelmed simply for trying to keep up. In my personal opinion, being overwhelmed in a video game should be a choice. It can be fun, just not for everyone. Although Event Horizon's battle system will intentionally be very hard to truly master, it should still encourage players to improve their skills while not being overly punishing for casual players. This is because the system is designed to expand endlessly, and with it introduce ever-growing levels of challenge. There will be many who are willing to take that challenge. And we will push them to their limits. Our work here is far from over. You want to break free? Do it your own. Limits is arriving to the world of Event Horizon. Limit Break Runs are the challenge meant to keep your fire going. A tall, mysterious entity awaits you in front of the gates to conflict. By channeling your burning desire to grow stronger in mind and body, you can arrange with this strange entity a written series of customized restrictions and opposing strengths also known as a pact. The terms written on this pact will make your life much, much harder, exactly as you desired. Most terms are enforced as environment effects, a system that displays status effects which affect the entire battle and can impact both tunes and cogs. These terms include Sadmosphere, a term effect that lightly damages all tunes every turn, Anger Management, a temper-altering term that causes some cogs to dangerously self-destruct if not handled in time. Time Crunch, a term effect that reduces the battle timer. And many, many more pertaining to both cog battles and real-time battles. Should you find victory in a battle empowered by a pact, those terms will resolve and reward your spirit with an otherworldly energy known as he it. Yes, it's he it or how extraordinarily an individual tries. Limit break runs are optional. Only you can choose the level of heat you wish to challenge. But only through pursuit will you find knowledge deeper in the unknown. Uncover the truth with every victory. Who is this mysterious entity, and what purpose does it serve in offering to make you stronger? As stated earlier, for this episode of Horizon Talks, we have stowed away most visual assets that are still a work in progress. Since Horizon Talks 2 in June, our take on Toontown's art style and in-game looks has rebooted and evolved countless times. 
For many on the team, this project is the first taste of creating something cooperatively in a team of this size. With stronger creative pipelines established, we've decided to keep working on both old and new designs to ensure that they work well together in the big picture. At a very early point in development, basic models and shaders were thrown into the game in order to take a quick look at the final product we were looking to achieve. The first time shaders were shown in March was a display of Toontown models mixed with Panda 3D's pre-ridden stock shaders. And, well, yes, I admit, they can definitely look better. But I say, if they can, then they will. That is why we've decided to take the helm and begin writing a customized render pipeline in OpenGL shader language in order to fully capture the vivid aesthetic we have in mind for Event Horizon. This is entirely new territory for many of us and introduces several concerns such as hardware performance and compatibility. Still, learning a new scripting language and sharing our knowledge amongst the team has been such an exciting learning process so far. And as always, the shaders will be optional for those who would prefer a classic look. In conjunction with countless other in-game models and textures that will be remade and revamped from scratch, our graphical overhaul is a collaborative endeavor that scales up right next to, if not larger than, our game development overhauls. We really can't wait to show you the finished product. There's more to see than you could ever expect. As always, our development goals focus on three major aspects. Core gameplay, player customization, and story writing. Although so far we've mostly dived into gameplay, we can give one quick update on the other things before we head off. We meant it when we said every species on our brand art is confirmed. Now that my particular favorite species is coded in, there is unfortunately no longer a need for me to make in-person appearances in this series. Sorry for getting your hopes up. Toontown Event Horizon's storyline will take on an episodic form and unfold periodically over time. The plot and its characters have already been written out for years in advance, and it is now finding its way from page to player. However, this project is something we as a team are all sticking with for the long run. We are still internally discussing testing dates, but our confidence rises with every new step in progress, especially today. And that will do it for this month's Horizon Talks, folks. It has been an amazing experience and a great honor to lead this team so far, and there is no stopping in sight. If you've got the skills and are interested in joining the team, our applications on our website linked in the description are open for many positions, and we'd love to see what you've got. Thank you all for joining us. Have an amazing new year, and we'll see you once again in 2023.